Dr. Thomas Mashmeyer, Professor of Chemistry. Well, it's a great honor to have been given the opportunity to share some personal reflections as part of the farewell of our Vice Chancellor, Dr. Michael Spence. My first memory of Michael is that soon after his appointment, he started to visit various places around campus, including our very own wonderful chemistry building, which I think is still as wonderful now as it was when he first visited. He was very well briefed and asked lots of deep and thoughtful questions about hydrogen, its generation, and hydrogen research in general. That was a really good experience to be exposed to the VC who is capable of recording so much of the detail of something that surely would have been quite peripheral in the grand scheme of things at the time. But this was not a one-off. During my many years here, I've experienced Michael as somebody who always had the personal touch and who was capable of delving deeply into the detailed affairs of the university to reveal its many layered structures and intricate interdependencies, which are a source of endless fascination for all of us, I'm sure. Within that context, within that very context, I would like to highlight the multidisciplinary institutes. These represent a grand vision with the Charles Perkins Center, a very bold and large statement of intent. Michael was also deeply involved in the creation of the Australian Institute for Nanoscale Science and Technology, now Sydney Nano. I worked very closely with him during my time as founding director. And as he was chairman of the board, as well as my VC, uh, his presence loomed large. But he was always very supportive, constructive, and helpful, even when at times a multitude of views needed to be given space to coexist so that the enterprise could progress smoothly. Indeed, the success of that enterprise and the quality of the building was such that Microsoft became a major partner for the Institute and for the university as a whole. Overall, our multidisciplinary centers are going from strength to strength and are a testament to the validity of Michael's original vision. On a more personal note, I've always admired his tolerance of people with whom he does not necessarily agree. What springs to mind here was a joint visit to Canberra when the, the then Minister for Industry, Innovation and Science walked into a room filled with GO8 VCs and some of their technology translation hopefuls, including myself. <clears throat> the minister, doing away with the usual greetings, offered as his very first contribution simply, I'm not going to give you any money. I thought that was a somewhat unusual start for such a meeting, and some of the VCs did indeed look somewhat put out. However, Michael took it in good spirits, and I'm sure drawing on all of his theological training, he might have thought, well, this minister needs to be forgiven, for clearly he does not know what he's doing. <laughs> anyway, as a VC, the main impact is, of course, on the home front, and the university is now really in a different place as compared to what it, where it was 12 years ago. There has been a strong focus on inclusivity and an equally strong focus on diversity. And together, these make us simply a better institution. And in the long term, I think a very resilient institution. Indeed, that increased resilience is already clearly visible across all faculties and schools. The performance of all staff during the COVID pandemic has been nothing short of spectacular. And it's something of which we can all be very, very proud. At a university like ours, with such a preeminent position in Australia, with such a broad base of academic teaching and research, and such a far-reaching impact nationally and globally, at such a university, it is really important to pursue excellence. Excellence at every level, academic excellence, excellence in our behavioral and cultural standards, 
excellence in the way in which we organize ourselves administratively. I think Michael has really set the university on a path to pursue that excellence. And even after his departure, I believe we will keep improving. But of course, excellence in terms of, of our success with the philanthropic sector also needs to be mentioned. Who would have thought that the University of Sydney could raise a billion dollars and more? Absolutely unheard of within the Australian context. In closing, I would just like to say that in an individual, one could not ask for somebody with a greater level of integrity and care for his fellow human beings. So I would like to thank him especially for that. Michael, it has been a pleasure and an honor to have worked with you all these years. And finally, I would just like to wish you and your family all the very best for the future. Lots of excitement and joy for your new adventure at University College London. Thank you. Thank you so very, very much. I'm sure we could listen to many, many more stories and I know that we all wish um, our Vice-Chancellor all the same. So it's my great pleasure to welcome our Vice-Principal of Advancement, Rosie Ogilvie.